Hello folks, Paintbrush is back again for tonight's game. As right now, this is where we all see for it is part of a Western Conference of the Finals in between. Between the final two teams of the Seattle Kraken and Colorado Avalanche. This is where it does happen now because Seattle Kraken have already been made it to the second round and now entering the Western Conference for the first time in a franchise history. For this moment, it's not real game, but it's the EA Sports part of it to find out what will happen now. There is one way that we can try to make a prediction. It's a win and try to go in. There's one way that we are looking for, and that means it will be the Stanley Cup Finals that happens here. That's right, because if you're watching now, there's one way to find a rooting team that you want to go for between Vegas Knights or the Florida Panthers. I chose Florida Panthers, so I think they should win the Stanley Cup. They've never won it before here, back in 2000, like many years ago. I've never seen them how well they were doing it, so I'm going to keep an eye on it and say, what's up, Florida? Yeah, that's definitely what I have to go for. But anyway, if you're saying that you go for Golden Vegas Knights, I think that's a good team, too. Say, what's up to Vegas? That's the only thing you can go for. Anyway, this is it. This is where it comes down for the part of the, the game of the Stanley Cup Finals, but this game is not. We still have some couple uh, games left to go, and, there, and there's only the two prediction teams to enter in for the Stanley Cup Finals of 23 of NHL for the EA Sports. Now standing by for the commentary, I will have a son of beast along with Silver Spoon. And a lie right across from the outside, for the left way we have in a center ice light bulb. I'll be back with the post game show for three star players. Now let's get in the game. Enjoy the Western Conference Finals of Game 2 of the Stanley Cup. Hello everyone, Son of Beast here along with Silver Spoon and Center Ice is Light Bulb. This is the NHL Western Conference Finals on EA Sports. The puck is about to be dropped and we are underway. Game two, about to begin at mile high. The starting group is being here as follows. We have as McCall. On the other side, we have as Everly. The on the other side of the angle, we have as McCann. Then for the inside, and we have a first score to come in for Jared McCann. This one's going to be a very tough one to be seen. A little start up there for, for McCann. He really been showing it up. You never know if he was going to be playing like that. But in all that case, he knows. He just really got it right away. With the other across, we have his Larson. Then we have his toes right toward the wing. Then we have his Lacrone. And right around the angle but from here, we have is the Chishkin. The offside has been called here on Colorado Ass. And the starting goaltenders we have is we have is Martin Jones. And the other side is Falcos. Franco's never really started playing in sort of hockey in, in the postseason, but I've really never seen how well he was definitely going to be doing. So, uh, you have to watch him here closely and see how much he could definitely do. It might be a tough one to be finding out if Franco's could definitely do one. It might be a tough one that they have. Here's McKenna right toward the left wing. He moves it himself right into position, takes a shot, and it's blocked. My ears recovers the puck. Try to look over it again. Leaves it off to McCann. Nutrushkin gets a piece of it. Now McCann takes it over to Lycronet. He fires it around the net. Takes it over with the puck. McCann gives it off to Veneers. On a one-on-one -on -one attack. Looking in the middle. It's stopped and saved by Francos. By Ram gives it over to Gerard. Now kicks the puck over again. Everly. Pass broken up. Gerard over now to Nachushkin. Looking for an open answer to make that play. In the inbound, Nachushkin to Lapinen. It's stopped by Osayek and now Borstron takes it over. Here's another angle. Borstron. It's blocked up by Gerard. Jerry Weinberg will have it. And Borstron scores! Borstron has that goal. Putting up a 2 0 lead in the start. Well, they're not really well trying to start from here. They all say it doesn't really help that way. They've really been showing it up. After McCann's goal, then it was Bullshawn's goal. 
the 2-0 score has made that one official. They're trying to lead the knock. Here's Osayek with the putt. Battling with a loose chain. And the Comfer gives the pass up to Knight Nito. Nito lost it handily. In the middle and out, and Martin Jones with the save. He will hold the puck here with only 16.23 to go. It's a little too early for the Seattle, but I would have found out they would have gotten there right across to it. Now with the win, here's Borgen. Gives it pass over to, to Schwartz and Wenberg. Now Borgen. Try to leave it off with the battle of the loose puck. Eller will have it back. Here's Porchon as Seattle Kraken are now into the Av zone. Fired it out of here. That almost escapes the zone. And Johnson will have that rebound. Pass is broken up. Schultz with it out. Brancos with the save. He holds up right now with just only 15.22 to go in this first period. Teams are ready to take on with the, with the faceoff puck. The score is still 2-0. Looks it over, and Salchi will win it. Cogliano, Donato has it up. And right now he will have that up over to O'Connor. O'Connor right toward the corner. Pass is broken up. Tovinen right toward the other way. Now gives it off to Gordy. Gordy lost that one here, and Cogliano will have it here. Passes to Rodriguez. Back to Cogliano. Donato went offside. Both teams are set, about to take the face off here. Seattle on the start with 2 0 lead. Now with the win for, for the Avalanche, and now Toast will take it here. Oh, went tumble up into the net, trying to escape the, escape the Sea Monster technical fight. Well, they're not showing it up. They didn't really want to get that far. They were saying that, how is he flying like that? That airplane is pulling up too far. Kel McCarr edges on the on the breakaway chain. He has a strong move to take over for the inbounding. The sight of it if it released it. But all it does turn out, one time to another, there's one way that they can try to leave it out in an open mind. This is where everyone tells them that Kel McCarr will get a good edge to take over and cut it right towards the slot. I'll be watching him. Let's hope that McCarr takes over, over with a good angle of the move. Back to you guys. Dunn's going to hold it up for here to Sprunch. Sprunch shot! That shot goes wide. Rodriguez passes again. Now McCarr will give it up over. Now finds Newhook. Newhook's in the corner now, releases it up. Passes to Rodriguez. And Rodriguez will send it over to McCarr to toes. Fires away! That's Jones saved by the pad. McCarr kicks it. Rodriguez will take it over. Now over again to toes. Toes trying to move it in, move it around again, Jones puts up a save. It's not that better if you go always know that Toes was moving around. Weave the weave zone. Really been showing up like he was going to get there. Rantanen has a lot of it in perception to have to go with the tape to tape feed zone. His ultimate ranging of the successful can be also retaining to find an open pass. This believes him. Rantanen will have that one at tape to tape and I'll be watching him right towards the game. McCann right toward the corner. Gets battled down, but Nierish blocked the shot, and it's Naito with the recovery. By Ram, right into the middle toward the wing. Kicks it off to Naito. Behind the cage, now gives it over to Rantanen. Rantanen fights by Ram, shot off the chest, and it's saved by Jones. Rantanen decided to give it back. Losing the chain, and Rantanen recovers it. Gives it off the cover! Block the shot! Nato! Save! Rebound it again! Jones put it up a save! The Wild Run is putting it up again! And Kraken are in the air away! Well, it's been close right now. They, they never saw what was going. But they really have to be out there all night. Francos will fire it with the save, and now Lekronen will give it off to Byram. Now the Avs are in an offense run. McCann back over it again to Beniers. Orshan right the other way. Packs it up the other way and Comfort pulls it down. Branton in. 
Granted, it moves the shovel, scores! There's your goal for Rantanen. He makes it snappy. And there's the answer that goes with the 1-0 and go with 2-1. It's easy to know that. Rantanen makes it snappy right toward the goaltender. Pass it by and you get the feeling of that score. It's great to hear that Rantanen, as right now JT Comfer has that first one to take the assist. When you say that Rantanen gives that one a right around at snappy, he knows he wants to make the shot. He gives it snappy and makes it hard, says, okay, I got your feeling back right away, so I'm going to come out here and get you. And there it was. That was one way that could try to make that one maintain, but it's not really that tough. Icing whistled on Colorado Avalanche. And at this moment, I'll be watching here if there's another player going in bounding to do with the run. Back to you guys. We pass the midway period mark. They're up by one. Seattle wins the faceoff. Get a little bit caught off here. Kicks the puck. Now he covers over his Lacronin. Here's Hunt. Gives it off to the Chushkin. The Chushkin wasn't ready to go. Now he will try to fix it up and now we'll swing it over to reset it on offense. Johnson gives it back to Hunt. Needs some changes out here. Pass broken up, but still holds on. Johnson. Now in the corner is McKinnon. Pass back to Johnson. Johnson up at the shot. It's saved by Jones. Jones is going to hold up for here with only 8 third 17 to go. And they don't know if they wanted to do that far. They might be saying it's what they really want. they got to get this one out there quick. Now with the win for Seattle. Fortune have it over any other side. The offense run picking up the steam. Recovered by O'Connor. Looks out. Caldeano shot. Stop me. We're under eight minutes to go in the first. And Seattle back the other way. Trying to give it up. And Caldeano takes it out. Oh, Johnson. A little bit, a little bit collision here. And a bad pass broken. Trying to reach it up. Diagonal pass right to O'Connor. Two on one! It's broken up, and it's Osayek with the rebound. Well, that pass already been broken up too much, Tip. They're just like fighting it out. They may not be able to do it that far. And Toes got at that point. Donato recovers, and Toes back the airway now finds Capiano. And inside, Rodriguez bumps up, and Tanev will make new changes. Eller's got the puck. Starting to make some new changes here, and now they're back into the offense zone. Cogliano right toward the, near the corner of the wall. Eller lost that puck here, and Cogliano still getting enough of it. There's a diagonal to Toes. Moves it quickly over to Makar. Makar trying to make an alien edges on a set. With the shot, and a stop made by Jones. Geeky back to Dunn. Now he finds Sprunge. 5.15 left to go in the first period of the game. And Deneb right on the workout chain. And right now it's Kale McCarr gives a diagonal to Maljin. Maljin moves it around with the man and Dunn got him that time. Sprunge right towards the middle of the, of the offense zone. To pass to Deneb. Oh, Franco save. And he'll hold it with just 4.29 to go. That's what you always know. Franco's trying to give it up the running game, too. That's what they did. Nathan McKinnon has gotten some ankle breaking of his run. His most curriculum is putting up an ankle break. When he looks at a higher skill range, he may have the one to take over. Vince Dunn, it's very tough to be clearer, and you finding him, there might be one way that can try to go with another way. I'll be watching him by those two players in between of McKinnon and Dunn. Back to you guys. And Gerard set it offside on the Colorado. Under four minutes to go in the first. Now the teams are set, ready to take the face off in the neutral zone. Now with the win, here's Larson. Pass to Everly. And Everly, try to reach it across. Franco stopped with the save. For only 3 4 40 to go. They're trying to lead the mark out of it without being punched over. They really need to do this one. They've done a lot of it. 
Now with the win. Oh, blocked it out. Crouched down. Franco stop. Byram will have that puck recovery. Gives off to Nida. Nida still looking it over and finds Ranton and shot. Red Jones stop. He holds it up with a save here with only 3.09 to go in the first period. Still 2 1 game. Now they're ready to do another faceoff here, and the time on attack was 2.47 for Colorado. Might be pushing up a little bit more. I don't know if it will be happening, but just let's let them happen to get this one done. Mm, get it straight. They need some in help. Byram will have to leave the puck out of here as it went bad pass and broken up. Now gives off the comfort, and now they're on to the offense run. On a settle inbound, here's Nido. Nido. In around the goaltender. Oh, spin up, but saved me by Martin Jones. He went there quick. Francos. Gives the puck out of here, and now we'll face it over to Comfort. Comfort battling for the loose puck. On the other side of a run. Oh, man, the Nido went already been, been rushed with no icing on the call. Johnson gives it back to Hunt. Hunt and a shot. Well, save me by Jones, and now we'll face it over with only another faceoff coming up with under 90 seconds. They've had a lot of them now. They wanted to be out there all night. Teams are set, ready right, to take the faceoff here in the offense zone. The win for, for again. Gordy gives the pass to Tolvanen. Kraken are back in the offense zone. Last minute of the carry in the first period. And this time it is nothing but the truth gets over. Matushkin lost the puck here and then tried to answer back. Here he comes. The shot stopped by Francos. Francos receiving another amazing of the majority of his save. 43 seconds left to go in the first period. They're trying to get a tie run to get it up. Now with the win. Bumbled up. Johnson. Pass the puck. Lagrunen to Hunt. Gives a pass to Nechushka. Right around the man. The offense gets stumbled down as right now Jones is pulling up another save. 16 seconds to go in the first period. Now their team are ready to make the lineup change and they're about to do it again. Now with the win, here's Schultz. Schultz passes to Tobinen. Just down to a seconds to go. To finish off the first period, shot way up the mark and out of play. The critical draw in the game. With the win, and it'll dish it out. So that will settle for the first period with two goals for Kraken, but there is Rantanen. He had that goal to strike with a snappy. We'll be right back with the second period after this. You're watching the Western Conference Finals of the Stanley Cup on EA Sports. Welcome back to the Stanley Cup Western Conference Finals as we're right now, we're about to start the second period. Here we go, folks. This is where we all come in to start the run. Let's have a recap in between for Silver Spoon of the first period. They have nothing to say about what they ever had to do. Schultz had it had stuck. But there is one way that we are trying to call for. They're really on a tough breakaway chain. And you notice that whenever they are doing with the inbounding, they really have nothing else to like spare on. With the Tigers, however, they were really are making that one pay for it. After the moment run, they wanted to make that one clear. But however, they need to get this one right away to do it again. But however, they, we got a goal here for two goals for the Kraken. It was tough, but one goal comes in for Rantanen. Made that snappy out there and he finally had that one nailed out. It was all that toughness how it is. They really got that one here right away. Here's Lekronen right toward over again to Nutrushkin. Leaves a mark out here to Makar. Toes. Around a fire shot. It's stopped by Jones. 18.34 to go in the second period. Trying to get over and under. Now with the run here on for another faceoff. Seattle up by one. And Meneers wins the faceoff. 
Larson gets fumbled up here in the corner, but not this time. Oh, man, that was a little bit tough. Now Comfort will give it over to McCarr. Pass to Nido. Nido gives the pass to Reigns and it's shot. Rebounded again. That's all for the stop. Nido will have to try to leave it out as the puck went all the way down. Well, you never want to get over this one. In uncomfortable range. Might need to just try to like slow it down a little bit. It may not be enough and nobody wants it. Here's Comfort, will pass it off, and Baneers has the puck taken away by over by Rantanen. Moves around it again, Comfort, and now Nido will help him out. Gives it off to Rantanen. The backhand shot stopped made by Martin Jones. 16.45 left to remain in the second period. They're still getting a lot of shots here, but there's too many of them to put it up. As the 13 is trying to pick up the run to stale them out. Now, Tolvanen will take the faceoff. Win and Shorts gives it over to Porchon. Oh, the little bumble out in the corner. Unable to make the open pass. Wimberg's going to hit the uh, uh, off and run. Close to gap out of here. Gerard over again to Byram. Open the pass over to O'Connor. Trying to give it off to Eller. Then Osayek will have to just say bye-bye and give the puck back. Osayek still holding on. Finds Borstron on the carry. Finds Schwartz. Schwartz looking it over and now pulling it into inbound. Fires the shot. Two-man goes blocking. Block. Now O'Connor gives it over to Byram and O'Cogliano. Cogliano pass to Byram. No penalty call. That fired too wide. No, no open feed for that one. Johnson will give it back to Cogliano. And now back again is Hunt. Hunt resets. Now finds Johnson. Diagonal pass to Rodriguez. A lot, a lot of puck moving out there. They are still going. And they are on the run finding Cogliano. With the shot. Stopped again by Jones. All they say now is just keep passing, quick, quick, and look open with the offense run. They really are starting to make that one about, about inbounding. They really want to do this. Tobin and will grab the puck inbounding. Rodriguez still has it out. Colorado's in the inbound, still not giving up. They really want this up. Rodriguez went a little bit troubled up, but now one man is out. And here comes Nachushkin. Nachushkin lost the puck here. And now they are back into the offense zone for Colorado, for Seattle. The Avs work their way across here in the offense zone. And now finds Lacronet. We'll have to give it back to Nachushkin out there. Back to McKinnon. McKinnon with the fire around. Lacronet shot saved off again. Kick the puck right over in the outside right now. It's Toes. Toes right over to get into Chushkin. The Chushkin still up and abounding. Finds the car. With the fire shot. That hit off the pad out there on the chest. Went down hard. Tolman it right towards in the slot. Gives a pass to Donato. Right to Tolman and shot. It's off the defender and it goes right toward the wall. Toast keep the pass over to Lekronen. Lekronen's right into the corner. The deep the, the pass to Copper. Unable to make the play. Vince Dunn has to cross here to back to Beniers. And here's Everly. Everly's shot. That's good stop by Rep Francos. Comfort has it over again. Move around the middle. Save by Martin Jones. Oh, Jones is still getting over this. He's not quitting. I don't know what to say about this, but this is really that tough. No one has ever seen him like that guy. He's already been like alone. Here's Nido with the puck, and now moving it over. To reach it in front is Dunn. Dunn still looking over back to Everly. Everly right into the wing. The offense zone. 
Pick up the steam. Rebound again. Stopped by Franco's. Now moving in front of it, and it's shot went wide. But here's still getting it over it. Nido got him. Try to block the pass. Battling for the loose puck of the wall. And now Gerard try to kick it up. Now finds Bowram. 8.40 to go in the second period, and Comfer is right into the right wing. Did not want to take it from here. Pass broken up to Nido. But Nido is up there again. Now fighting back again to Johnson. Hunt's right on the outside. No power play called yet. We'll have to try to reset it again as the puck was went reforced and regrouped. Yeah, it's not really well enough at all. I don't think this never really happens to be like that. Nido shot! Oh, and up and over right toward the glove. Rodriguez trying to pull it away. And Jones will have that one with a save to put it up an in inbound. With the close game of this period, it's a 2-1 lead, Seattle up by one. Now with the win for Seattle, Saoshi gives it over to Tenev. Tenev working its way across to the offense zone. Rebounding the puck is Johnson and now Robert Goose will have it. Sponge! Oh, good stop here by Francos. Now finds Johnson. Johnson gives it over again to Newhook. Newhook. Watching the player on the open offense now. And now will give it time off to Roderick Goose. Back to Toes. And now swing off to McCarr. McCarr the inbound. Trying to put up a rebound here. But it's off again. Sprunge on its way. Fires it around the net. The Avs now have their way in back in the offense zone. Here is Eller. And it does off the target. Saoji goes to Borstron. Borstron lost the puck. No offside called on Seattle. O'Connor trying to reach it around. Schultz took it over. Moves it quickly over to Borstron. Then Cogliano will try to recover it. And here he comes. Cogliano right back into the offense zone. Cogliano passes to Gerard. Gerard with the shot. Compton saved me by Jones. Jones is going to hold up here for the puck with under five minutes remaining. It's all it does come out. I mean, you, you don't want to make that one oh, too complicated. You really have it all. You might have it too much to give it. Seattle wins another faceoff. Now finds for Strahan right into the offense zone. Trying to keep the range out of sight. And Byron will have that one puck right into the offense zone. Deep pass to McKenna. Here's the pass. Borjan. Oh, it's too close. Well, Syatt trying to battle for the puck. Oh, almost had that. But it didn't quite get enough with the rebound. Block the pass up here. Here comes McKenna. On a racing toward the attack. Moves around it. Moves it with the round the back. The backhand shot stopped by Jones. Osayek over to get to Tolbinin. All right, now Borjan will have it out. Lekkonen trying to hold it on. Now Lekkonen will have the puck. Passes, and Nechushkin, ooh, went right toward the back of a goal post. Tolbinin right toward the Gordy. Gordy trying to cover it up. Now with new changes. Lacunin right into the offense zone. Now going back from passing the blue line. Battle for the loose puck chain. Frantonen will try to give it over again. Tolman in on the fast break. Chain. Move around the front. What a stop by Francos. Francos really is shelling things up with the score. I don't know if we all are going to call for it, but it was very close to make that one play for. We're just about two minutes remaining in the third, second period. And they are starting to get a little bit un unfocused out there, but they need to get that one more attentional. Here's Rantanen, watching him. And Larson shot, rebounded again, and it's off the mark. But here's battling along on Comfort. And Emily scores! They're back up by two. Seattle Kraken are just trying to take a moment and make that pass play. The connection of this one for the communication really might be showing it off like they did. 
And that's when you know Jordan Everly was putting it right into the inbounding. It was very that tough that you can definitely say and to spy on, they really are a game, and despite with the debution, they really are trying to make that one come up with like a huge chain. Reaction may not be uh, impossible, but they really might be choosing it up like they always did. I'll be watching him with one of the connection plays in the game. Back to you. Cover shot with a rebound up again, right to the end. Oh, he didn't have the right timing to do it. We're under a minute to go in the second period. Now here's another one chain. Move the puck back again to Dunn. Pass to McCann. McCann trying to block it out. New look. Open pass to Muljic. 15 seconds to go. Try to look for the, this first goal. Shot stopped by Jones. Hold it for seven seconds to go in the second period. They're trying to get out of here free. Now both players are in right now with just only seven seconds left. With the win, good toss up. And Maljay with the backhand. Didn't have the right timing to do this. And that will end the second period. One goal made for, Eber for Eberly. And then now it's a 3-1 game. We'll have some time to think about it and get right into third. Be right back after this. It's about that time for the third period. As right now changing the new counter angle, not bad at all. But I think we might just change it up and find out what it is. Well, let's give it a call. We're about to start with the third period, all set to go and ready for action. Well, it's been a very tough one, as we say, for Seattle, Crockett, and the Avalanche. As we recap this for Silver Spoon. Well, the tough one is not rangeable, but this one has already been chosen out. The one way that we are calling for is how well they are making communication there. A lot of passes here for, for the Colorado Avalanche. They were really are trying to make that settled. The score of this inbounding is not really that tough. But they all didn't really just take that to try to chop them out of here. They were really are starting to make an enforcement to go with the inbounding. When they're tough on this inbound, bound, you know that Eberly and their team really needs to do this one again. They've really done this one a lot. And because they really did this, they really try to make the offense clear and get it done. Toes right toward back again to McCarr. McCarr fires it from the left. To the right, the Chuske. That puck was settled out. Tries again, rebound it, and scores. You're back down by one as Lockernan has his seventh goal in the playoffs. I know what you're saying that the Chuske gives a pass, but this amount is a creative motion, Mom. It just really has to happen just like it did. Well, it's a great communication right over again to Lekronen. It just didn't really happen like that. But you can definitely say, when a pass gives right over to the pad off the goaltender of Martin Jones, this was all it did really that happened to once more. It turned out very great. Here's Schwartz back again on by Ram. And Borstrand right over again to the glass. Vince Dunn, pass to Winbrook. Try to play it around the net. And he uses it to crouch down a knee and put up a block shot. Dunn right into the center. More strong again. Right to Wimber. And try to reject the pass. Ranton and try to fight its way to Wimber. And it's Broncos with the stop. Here's Dunn. On the outside, back to Wimber. Wimber did. Oh, he did not have the right timing right. As the goaltender comes up with the glove stop making with a snatch. The ability is not really what's just turning out what it seemed. But they were really sure enough. But they were trying to like gear it over it and try to reach it out. The chain is very hopeless. But nobody really would have that one would care. Now Larson will have it over again to Dunn. Oh, bad pass here and he just got it right. Behind the net is Comfer. Larson got it that time. Tobin in right over to Wimberg. Uses the pass to Donato. And Donato back to Wimberg inside alone. Oh, he did not have it. As it went right and stopped, the puck was out right near the net. Woo, that was close. I never saw what was going to be like that. I never seen it going. Johnson, right around in the net. And Larson have it back to Donato. 
14.30 to go in the third period, trying to keep it out. Now Diaz are on the run. Nutrushkin trying to give it over again, and Cagliano went offside. Both teams are set, about to take the face off in the offense neutral zone. Now Seattle wins the face off. Now finds Donato. Here comes Tobinen right into the wing. Right around in slot. Good stop by Broncos. Baldwin recovers it now with no icing called. McCarr back again to Toes. He's it off to Malkin. Sorry, McCarr. And finds Rodriguez. Borgen takes a stop. Reese it over to Donato. Donato right around to the slot. Rand gets slammed down right toward the blue line. Oh, hello! My, my! I don't know what to happen right there, but I think it would be a tough one that Toes was slipping. Uh, slipping, sliding, I mean, you never get things tough by right now. If Toes was out there, I mean, you could have stopped that one. Seattle Kraken back in the offense zone to try to stop the pressure out. And Lankerman will have it back. Here on the fast break, Rob Jones, stop, scores! Lock it in with two goals, and the puck is loose to the chain. Oh man, the Maljin just didn't really notice that it was big. If he was putting it bounty, he would have had that shot, make that goal with the save. He didn't have the right timing. Now the team is tied. Abs and Kraken are even up in game two. Better than the last game, it was turned out like they were up to it. But the challenging is, the successful really needs it on. It's not really what they've seen, but they really have it over with the offense run to try to leave it inbounded. Osayek with the puck. Now back to Borgen. Borgen pass to McCann. Try to keep the puck away from it, and McKinnon try to keeps it out. Lekkonen takes a steal, and now over again to Toes. Back to Hunt. Hunt again to Toes. Clutch back to Lekkonen, over again to Hunt. Now finds the Chushkin. The Chushkin shot. In or off the pad by Jones. He's going to hold it up with only 10.34 to go in the third. Really need some time out there. A little quiet moment, and then get back into it now. Both teams are set, about to take the face off, nearing the midway mark of the period. Now Eller wins the face off. Hunt moves over to O'Connor and now gives it over back to a quick pass to Johnson, now finds Hunt. Gives a slot. Johnson almost lost the puck. And Hunt gives it over with an offside call. Now that both teams are in the offensive zone, near it, the blue line. And, uh, and with the diagonal win for Seattle. Watching the man over it, over it open is McCann. McCann right into the wing to fire it. Franco stop at the save and Johnson has it open up. Ready for another one to go from here, Cagliano. That pass doesn't go from here. Dunn passes to Beniers. Moves it to McCann. McCann right around toes. With a quick shot. Love saved up by Francos. He's going to hold it up here with under nine minutes to go in the third. Nearing the late going of this period, you can feel the energy from the crowd. It's a tie game. Seattle wins it another one. And a huge stop by, by the goaltender. Knight up. Give the pass to Ranton in. Deep to take to take to Gerard, back to Byram. Give pass to Knight up. Back to Ranton in. Pass to Zolta Copper. Tenev didn't get the take to take feed and put it in receiving. Byram get a little slam out of it. Comper 
Lost the puck in the zone, and Gerard gives it over to Comfer. Comfer lost the puck into Neb, will give it back to Dunn. Dunn, right towards the neutral zone. Now with the offense zone, Spurred shot! Saved by here by, by Francos. Francos has been a, one of the biggest players in this offense. We all respect for him. Because Alexander Georgiev did really play really well enough for the first game of the conference finals. But now the second game is Francos. I really like to hear that one. And there's the penalty call. They're going to get a slash on Seattle. And Daniel Sprunch in the penalty box. Well, 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 there is it. And there might be saying they are going to get it done and down toward the target line. The Avs are now in the power play to start their possession in the third. The Avs wins the face off and the power play's on. Tanev takes it away, clears it out, and now will in, in, head into the back behind the net. Now McCarr will settle, settle down a little bit. Now he will find over to McKenna and now he's in. Try to leave it up over here. Oh, missed it up at the pass. Now Francos. And right now it looks like there's going to be a call with the delay of the game. And it looks like that new book will have to get over it and try to leave it out. I don't know if it was happening like that. It looks like it wasn't that tough that nobody should ever see that. But if it does really notice, he just moved. Now it's a four on four play. Because the delay of the game was moved and rejected. They're not allowed to do this one for the postseason and now they're going to get this one done straight. We never noticed what was going on because they didn't really get it right. Now McCarr will have to stay right in the crease. And Toes will leave it out here. No power, no offside call. 40 seconds left to go. With the man of man. McCarr has it out. McCarr in the zone. Scores! Oh, what a play make! Miss Ali Edges is pointing right toward it and now right to the corner of the goalpost. Never seen that. The Ali Edges was hitting it right to Kale McCarr. That hit off the angle. And never noticing how he does that. That is like, wow. In the row. That's nobody was ever seeing it uh, like they did. Now Dunn will win the face-off here. Now pass to Wenberg and they lead it offside. Nearing down to the third period, the mark lane. It's a lead for Colorado for 4-3. They need to tie the series up because they really never got it that far. Winning the first game and now the second game. Well, it's just like the same thing like New Jersey Devils, but I'm not going to mention that one here. Oh <laughs> no. No, we don't we need that one here. Now the 4-on-4 four four is over. Now Seattle are on the power play. Now Seattle will have their possession to take over. Oh, what a slam down. Here's a pass to Robert Cuse, and now we'll fire it out. Looks like he's almost ready to go. Nitrushkin. Pass to McCullough. Power play is over for Seattle Kraken. Now back to even strength. They like to hustle out there. If you never know that Kim McCall was already been showing it off like his elite edge skill, that may have been just a cut around the, on the corner. This piece of a track of the info is keeping it right toward the offense line. And they were never seeing it going right toward the offense from this line change. They never saw that. But in becoming the most of the player of this uh, offense drive, they really are starting to put it inbounding like they did. Toast recovers it with the puck and now finds by Ram. Here's a pass and McCann tries to stop the run. Everly will have a chance to do it to tie it or just get stomped. Paneros, hit off the glass. Foul over the loose puck and Toast will give it off to McKinnon. Oh man, I don't know what to tell you this. This is a rough one. It looks like the Monsters, they wanted to start getting a fight off to show from here. I think he was already been showing up. I don't think they don't want to do this. Now we have the call as David McKinnon has the angle breaking for Lightball. 
they're really in a hustle and bounding. I've always been checking it out, how Nathan McKinnon was doing. He really did really well. The ankle breaking got him loose. The free way to make that one here. I mean, he's very good on a high range of the offense run. But he hadn't made the goal, but that's all he could do here on ice. Brenton then passes to Comper. Now he's in the corner now. Gerard will have it over again to Byram. Leave it out with the open mark. Goes down. Gerard shot. Stopped by Tom by Martin Jones. Meniers with the puck. Now the Avs of Colorado will have their possession to take over here. One minute to go in the third period. Now pass to Johnson. Johnson goes down. Byram will try to reset. And now they're back into the zone. Oh, not again this time. Osaya just keeps it going. Oh, uh, that sea monster. Want to find a little weapon out there. Watch out. Johnson and the Chushkin send it down deep. And McKinnon fires and done. That ends the second game of the Western Conference Finals. That's what's happened here just like it did. They always know that Nathan McKinnon was really into that one. But I could say the, uh, the ankle breaking was a tough one to be released. The settles games down on a score. I mean, you have the feeling. Bronco stop save! Now O'Connor will swing it out. Near the back of the net. And it looks like this will happen to be it. Now they will have to get it off with the win. And O'Connor gets to Johnson. McCann. And not enough to get from here. That is it. Colorado ties the series a 1-1 game. Well, well, well. They are coming. Ready to move on to game three. It's been a wonderful night. The absolute fans. You may have ever asked. When this gets that better, it gets tough. Well, along with Son of Beast and Silver Spoon and Lightball, I'm Son of Beast, and this has been a presentation of the NHL of the Western Conference Finals. It's been a match, but we all have to say, have a great evening in Mile High. See you next time, folks. All right, thank you so much, Beast. And right now, this game is about to be a 5-3 final score of the night. Time for three star players of the game. The third star goes to Kill the Car. Had a goal to take the lead. It all does settle, but in this scoring tough drive, just really have it all. The second star on the other hand goes to Ned Garrelli Nachuska with two to assist and one hit. And the first star goes to Artori Lequidin with two goals. Around the back. And this slot keeps it right from here. Here's how they did with the total statistics. 42 to 29 total shots on goal for Colorado. 13 hits for Seattle over 11. 13 34 time on attack over Seattle. 92 percentage of the passing for Seattle over Colorado. Ben 36 faceoff wins for the Seattle over 6 for Colorado. Two minute penalty kills was both teams. No power play goals and 40 seconds was remained. So that wraps it up for game two. I hope everybody's enjoying, but we are now heading back to the conference finals of the NBA in between the Bucks and the Celtics, sorry, the Cavaliers and the Celtics here at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse and the Arrow Game, Lakers and Nuggets at Crypto.com Arena. Well, this is it, and as of right now, as for being said, peace out, folks, for a while, as the NHL conference finals on EA Sports Style. This is Paintbrush, and you can follow Son of Beast on Instagram, TikTok, and Discord coming soon. Once this is over, we'll have a new small media on the line. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I'll see you all again next time. Adios, everyone. Take care. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.